Hello everyone. I am Amelia Sotun, consultant, PM Potion Cell Meglia, and I will give you a tutorial on how to use ARMS website for monthly and daily data reporting. Before that, let me give you an insight into the ARMS reporting. Automated reporting and monitoring system is a web-based application uh, software that can be accessed through the web browser. The software and the database resides on a central server and is accessible over a network. The main objective of ARMS is the instant reporting of meals served in various schools of the state through different communication modes, the web-based mode, SMS-based mode and an Android application-based mode. The users can use whichever mode is convenient to them. Now let us first go into the tutorial of the first mode of reporting which is through the web base. To start with, we need to, the, to go to the website mdmhp.nic.in and you will need to log in using your registered phone number and the default password for your login will be your phone number at the rate 123. After logging into the website, you will be taken to this home page. You will have to do two types of reporting. One is a monthly data reporting and a daily data reporting. A monthly data reporting will have to be done once a month, preferably on the first working day of the month. And daily data reporting will have to be reported every weekdays. So for monthly data reporting, go to the online data transaction the drop down menu will be displayed. You select the monthly MDM data entry. The district, education block, cluster, and the meal serve date will be displayed by default. Now you select the checkbox here alongside your school, alongside the name of the school. Then you enter the enrollment number. Let's say for this school, the enrollment number for this particular month is 48. So we enter 48 in the enroll students tab for food grains buffer available. If you still have food grains with you, you click on yes. If you do not have food grains with you available, you click on no. Similarly, for funds available, you have two options, yes and no. If you still have funds with you, you click on yes. If you do not have funds with you, you click on no. So for this particular school, they still have food grains with them. So we click on yes. And for the funds available, they still have funds with them. So we click on yes. Click on the save button. And the data for the month of March is saved. For daily uh, for, for daily data reporting, go to the online transactions, data transactions. Options will be displayed on the drop down menu. You click on the daily data, daily MDM data entry. The districts, education block, cluster and meal serve date will be displayed by default. So as you can see, the 22nd, 3rd, 2024, today's date will be selected for, for the data entry of today's report, uh, reporting. You click on the checkbox here alongside the name of the school. You enter the number of meals served for today. If there are 39 students present, so you enter 39. and you click on save. So data for today's date is saved successfully in the server. If for any reason you are unable to serve meals, now there can be multiple reasons why you are unable to serve meals. So the meal served, you would still need to uh, send the report to ARMS portal even if you are unable to serve meals. So meals served, if you do not serve meals, will be zero. 
the number of meals served will be zero. Now, if you give your meal served as, as, as zero, the reasons, you will need to select the reasons as to why you are unable to serve meals for the particular day. So you click on the reason tab and multiple of reasons will be displayed to you in the drop down menu. There may, there may be cases where you, are, you do not have food grains with you. So you select food grains not available and you would also need to select a sub reason for that. Is it because you have not received the food grains or the food grains that you have has already been damaged or it's un or the food grains you have is insufficient. So in this case let's say the food grains that you have has been damaged. So you just select on food grains damaged and you click on save. Your data for today is saved successfully. There will be cases where you do not have cooks available with you or maybe you uh, there is a holiday in school, a local holiday in school. So you click on holiday in school and you select the sub reason. Let's say if it's a local hol holiday, you just select on local holiday and click the save button. If for any reason there are reasons that are not listed in the drop down menu in such cases you can just click on others and you click on the save button now, those are the easy steps for monthly and daily data reporting using the web based mode thank you